I love beer, and you love beer. Let's get together and drink some beers. Hey guys, and welcome to the last video of the week. At least the last one before the Sunday update video. Um, it's a clue scroll commentary, so at the end, you get to see what I get. But uh, before getting on the subject of me this evening, it seems that RuneScape got updated again on a Tuesday. WTF! Right? I was expecting RuneScape to be updated on Wednesday. Well, well, they always been updated on Wednesday morning, Eastern time. So, you know, on Tuesday night, I can finally do the Halloween quest, right? I mean, events. I mean, missing every event, and people always be like, Oh, look, I have this emote, and I don't have it. Obviously, I don't really care, but... I just wanted to do the event for once, and guess what? RuneScape was updated on a Tuesday with one piercing note. And I missed the Halloween event. Aw, oh, damn it. But you see, the quest is quite interesting, right? Uh, a lot of prayer experience is given at the end as additional reward, so I should check that out. And it's the first fully voiced quest. So, I never play RuneScape with music or sound on, but uh, I might try it out. You know, actually hear the character talking to me. It's quite some uh, a change. Isn't it? Mm. Sorry, I'm burping at the same time because I'm enjoy enjoying a good apple cider. Yes, I'm recycling my drinks now. Uh, I don't have time to go to the supermarket to buy more exotic, exotic drink. But I'm, I am hosting a party on a Saturday. Well, a party. A small dinner event. And oh my god, the number of bottles of wine my friends are bringing me is just astronomical. I think I should vlog right after that party and see what happens anyways subject of tonight i've been you know going through some old videos and i realized hey i always have a ring of wealth on me when i do blue scrolls and come and think of it i always always have been a firm believer of the ring of wealth even before the update because in the past how the ring of wealth worked was that you know, when a monster gets killed, there's a big wheel that turns, and if you get lucky enough to land on a rare item, then the Ring of Wealth activates, and it gives you a rarer item. So let's say, instead of, if you don't have a Ring of Wealth, you might get like a Dragon Spear. Wow. And if you do have a Ring of Wealth, you might get like what? A Dragon Full Helm? But that's how like it worked. But now, after the update, it does now enhance clue scroll drops. They get better chances of getting clue scrolls, and they get better chances at the drops themselves. So I always keep them until the end, until the opening of the caskets, or you know, just keep them on and see what I get. Because if I miss the last clue. Then I might get a crappy reward, and you don't want to get a crappy reward after investing 30 minutes uh, clue scrolling. But also, it affects the um, uh, the drops in a good way. The common drops, well, you get better common drops, and you can get drops from the rare drop table. And if I check right now on RuneScape Wikipedia, yes, I use the RuneScape Wikipedia. It says that mm, more valuable drops. You can't get like what? Uh, Five hundred big bones. Uh, that's kind of decent. A thousand raw swordfish. What? I got once two hundred fifty raw swordfish with, with the ring of wealth, but never like a thousand. You can actually get like a hundred fifty. Rune bars or like magic seeds, Vecna skull. The Vecna skull is actually pretty awesome. I use it for PK. Or 2,500 noted Saradum and Brews. So you're killing a monster that have a valuable like drop table, an easy peasy monster, and then it drops 2,500 Saradum and Brews. That's how awesome the Ring of Wealth is, and that's why I put it on every time. And I am so addicted to it that um, I sacrifice the ferocious ring when I go slaying in Kuradal's dungeon. You know, it's the, sl uh, the, the the ferocious ring like automatically gives you a 40 damage boost every time you hit. 
Nah, I prefer getting two scrolls. That's how crazy I am. But um, actually, like if I apply it to a real life situation, I realized that since my graduation from high school, for college and university, for every midterm and especially final exams, I always bring my grad ring. I need to have my grad ring with me to like, you know, just to do the exam. I don't know it's a placebo effect, like having my ring with me, just like, my grad ring for me is five years of awesome high school life, all my friends, all the time I passed, so like, it's like bringing them with me to every exam and remind me of the good memories. It's like a placebo effect, it makes me more confident for the exam. And I guess it's the same thing with the ring of wealth, no? Like, you are reassured that, hey, when the monster dies, it might drop a, drop a good uh, drop. So I can just always keep the ring of wealth. So it might be also a placebo effect. Because at the end of this video, which is coming in around... Uh, two minutes. Yes, two minutes. I'm stalling right now for time. No, I'm not. Um, you're going to see that I forgot to, to take off my um, uh, ring of life. And my ring of wealth is in my inventory. So it must obviously affect my drop. Or did it is the question. So that is the question. But I always put my ring of wealth when I can. And uh, So do you guys use it? Do you guys believe in the ring of wealth? It actually, like, even for these implings. Uh, yeah, I mean, I ran around trying to catch a magpie, magpie impling. Yep, and dropping for diamonds. I mean, hey, it seems that the ring of wealth also impacts the, you know, the drops from these implings. Like a kingly impling might drop the onyx, uh, a non-cut onyx or something, if you had the ring of wealth on. But some, um, anyways, <sighs> what a nice apple cider. Uh, if you guys ever had apple cider. It keeps the doctor away because I bet half a glass of apple cider is like an apple. Um, so, up the updates from this month. What are you guys looking forward to? Thanksgiving? Because I know for Americans, Thanksgiving is like on the third, is it? On the third Thursday of November. Whereas for Canadians, is the second Monday of October. So, it's always like, when I say Thanksgiving... It's Canadian Thanksgiving, but um, anyways, it seems that RuneScape considers Thanksgiving to be American Thanksgiving. But so. so, are you guys looking forward to the Thanksgiving events? I mean, it's two events in two months. We have Halloween and Thanksgiving. Are you guys getting sick, perhaps, of these events? Uh, but so I guess, uh, hey, who doesn't want to get a new emote or item? But here we are at the end of the video. Here's a casket. See, my ring of wealth is in my inventory. I'm not going to kill that rat. And when you open it, three clue scroll items. The court summons, the top hat, and the heraldic plate light. So, I don't have my ring of wealth on. I okay. Do admit, the drops are not that expensive. I mean, the top hat's only like one. There you go. Not that much. And I think it's like 250,000 GP. But three clue scroll unique items. Well, we can get the court summons in another way, but still, it's rare to get like three exclusive drops per clue scroll. So, did it really help? Well, I don't know because I didn't put it on. If I put the Ring of Wealth on, maybe I have sh could have gotten the third age item. Who knows? But you see, even without a rune or runescape. Even without a ring of wealth, you might get good items. So, do you believe in a ring of wealth? Or do you just put it in your bank and put it in a ring? Leave that, in your, in, I don't know, leave that in the comments, and I shall read them and answer them. But until next time, guys, until Sunday, have a great weekend. Don't drink too much. Drinking is bad. And I'll see you guys next time.